So I got all the front suspension ready to bolt up to the front subframe. Uh, pretty much just got to slap it on and get at it. I uh, got to bolt the subframe up, bolt the struts, lower control arms, hang the uh, spindles, and then uh, try to bolt some wheels on, see what this thing looks like. But uh, going to get at it. step closer to getting this thing back on the ground subframe bolted right up no problem uh, alignment was great uh, so let's take a look at it so here's the body mounts bolts right up there I don't know if you can see up in there check that out yeah so frames pretty secured or, I mean uh yeah subframes pretty secured to the body here's our lower control arm mounts and plenty of room plenty of clearance around the uh, rear cross member front yeah it's tons of room and I'll even be able to sneak a sway bar probably up in that gap there shoot the gap between the uh, bell housing and the trans cooler so I think that's it uh, I'm just gonna go ahead bolt the uh, lower control arms strut upper control arm and uh, <laughs> see if I can bolt the wheel on but uh, I'm gonna get at it see what happens
hell yeah. <laughs> Should actually bolt it up. Damn, this thing's gonna work. <laughs> Pass your side. Hmm. All right. Camera keeps turning off because it's too hot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm gonna keep working. Uh, if this thing keeps turning off. Oh well. I'll let it cool off. Come back with a recap at the end. But uh, I'm gonna get this shit done. <laughs> yeah. So uh, camera might have been onto something. It was pretty hot. Uh, but I did get the passenger side thrown on there. Driver side, passenger side suspensions. 100%, except for the sway bar. But, uh, guess I quit bullshitting and uh, I'll throw the wheels on there, see what it looks like. All right. Oh shit. Yeah. So it uh wheels bolt up, wheels spin, and they don't stick out too terribly bad. Uh, you know, maybe about four inches. I'm gonna have to wide body it. Uh, but yeah. <laughs> oh shit. It's actually gonna work. It's actually gonna work. Yeah. So uh, next. I'm going to throw the bumper on just to see. Number hits. Going too good. Shit. Oh, no. So, ah, another curveball. Uh, front fascia doesn't fit on with where I put the uh, front cross member. See down in there? It's pushing down 
on the plastics. And when I was putting it on, split this shit. So, eh, it was already getting painted, but now I guess it's getting replaced. So, oh well, ooh shit, we got a hell of a gap too. So the whole thing's got to come up quite a bit. Yeah, yeah, you can see down in there. It's it's hitting pretty hard, but I mean shit, that's that's plastic. I can chop that out no problem. But I want to put the rack and pinion on real quick. Uh, no, nothing real quick. Next thing I want to do, put the rack and pinion on. But in order to do that, I got to clearance the oil pan. So guess I'll head inside, soak up some AC, and uh, start chopping it up. But right, let's take a look at this first. Damn. <laughs> All right. Yeah, suspension's at full droop, but she's getting there. <laughs> Shit. So, it's been a while since I picked up the camera. Not really sure exactly where I left off. So I'll uh, do a quick recap. Went ahead and got the rack and pinion pretty much bolted up. Uh, clearance the oil pan, that fit, worked real good. But, unfortunately, when I notched the uh, cross member, I didn't notch it enough to clear the uh, rack, or uh, steering rack. So, it's not quite bolted up, but Where's the bowl? Right there. Yeah, so we're, we're off by about half a hole. Not too bad, considering, you know, made the whole thing from scrap. Uh, but, after that, ran into issues with the upper control arm. But, as you can see, I now have big ol' uh, fender tubs. Went ahead, tubbed into the uh, firewall a little bit, and clearanced up overhead. So, the original frame sat about here and you could see upper control arm at full droop was pretty much making contact already uh, no good I had no suspension movement at all so with that out i'm able to okay yeah able to get a decent amount of movement out of it uh have it actually oh that's not tight you know just mocking it up i guess but so shoot it's hot about to rain but anyways uh damn all right i guess i better hurry up and uh another issue stock struts thing was sitting like two feet off the ground so went ahead and picked up some bc coils damn slap these bad boys on and uh see how it sits uh do it real quick before the rain comes in <laughs>
enough. So yeah, still got a couple fingers of clearance here. I haven't set the, I haven't set the suspension at all. But I think we'll go ahead and drop it down on the ground and uh, see what it looks like. Still not even sure yet, but we'll figure it out real quick. But now that I got the uh, rack and pinion steering linkage hooked up. Let's see if it works. Give it a quick. Oh hell yeah. tight right now so and just flopping around. I mean little control arm bolts. Don't even have a nut on it. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and drop it down and see what it does. Deal, but it'll work. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Fucking cicadas. Alright, <laughs> guess we'll do a quick walk around. Went ahead, got the wheels bolted on, dropped it down, 
slap the fender on here just to see what it looks like and not that bad uh yeah take a peek so wheel is actually centered in the wheel well which i was kind of worried about not gonna lie about that uh no suspension is in a bind we got them bc coilovers lower control arms new steering everything I do have new motor mounts I need to swap in there. Where are they? Right there. Yeah. Do have new motor mounts. Still got a plate in a little bit around the strut towers. That's not bad though. And you can see I started seam sealing. Well, this is actually panel bond. This shit is solid. It's been on there for a few days now. And yeah, you can't even can't even scratch it. This stuff is. I mean, not only did I weld. I mean, you can kind of see all those ripples. That's all tack welds. Uh, tack welded everything and panel bonded up inside there, too. So, no moisture, no rust, nothing. Ooh, this one's a little forward, probably because my lower links are jacked up. But, I mean, I'm pretty satisfied with it. Yeah, it's not as low as I was expecting. Still gonna have to clear it some more on the, uh, upper frame control arms are hitting uh it's kind of what happens the ren uh the, the renegade didn't have upper and lower control arms it just had a uh, mcpherson style strut with a lower control arm uh so there was really no need for extra room up top but the charger uh completely different animal but making it work uh just have to clearance out a little more damn i'm sweating it's freaking hot <laughs> but uh yeah, I'm happy with where it's sitting right now. Probably go ahead, slap the other fender on. I want to put the front bumper on too. Uh, still have to cut that since the last time I broke it. But, making good progress. All right, let's see if it works. <laughs> all right so bumper fits pretty much it's not really supported at all but uh, i trimmed enough out front for it to actually kind of clip in i do have a replacement front uh, fascia so i could slap that on you know at some point not really worried about it right now because you know don't want to break another one but i'm really happy with where i'm at right now uh suspension's like 95 percent done i still have to do the sway bar i'll worry about that later uh, it's really not that important. Uh, I got to drop the subframe anyway to notch it again for the steering, but I think that's pretty much it. Uh, just got to swap to the rear end now, get a measurement for the drive shaft, and then oh, I still have to mock up the suspension. There's no uh, upper spring mount, nothing like that, or strut mounts, so uh, shocks, you know. Uh, but either way, oh, shit, it's raining. All right, so uh, go ahead, wrap it up now. Uh, thank you all for watching. I appreciate the follow. Uh, you know, it's <laughs> it's pretty cool. There's this many people actually like, you know, seeing me do stuff. So uh, stick around. This thing, uh, it's going to get there. You know, I started with two wrecked cars. Well, you know, a wrecked car and a, a stance car. And I'm going to build something nice. Uh, but uh, all right, anyway, let you all go. See you on the next one. Thank you.